Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. In this part, I'll farm uh, locations, I'll try to clear as many as possible, because at this point all we need um, is, is gold and of course experience, but we will get that along the way. Um, just now the main uh, goal or long term goal for us is uh, to get Assassin's Guild and fighters bar uh, Fighter Barracks so we can get our tier 2 units, start training them up and um, with tier 2 units we should be able to get to Dorikos uh, and uh, again on this shard I'll have to surround him and play off camera for a bit because um, for the next shard we want to go commander again and uh, recruiting a second commander on this shard uh, or on every shard if you want to have uh, the same hero twice it's really expensive so i'll have to farm th uh, th over 13000 gold and 1350 gems so that may take a while and we definitely won't have that kind of money at point when uh, we get to dorikos so yeah it will take a while but uh, i think it's worth it i really really want to try the demon horde so i'm willing to stay here and farm so we can do it on the next shard but um, this will still take a while uh, we have to start with uh, some locations first so we have um, we just uh, conquered uh, uh, the second desert province and it has uh, already two locations that we can attack so i think i'm gonna start with the gargoyles and um, I hope that we get some more good targets uh, in this province because uh, after we clear uh, these two locations, we are heading uh, north again. Okay, can we build something? We had uh, 370 gold. We actually can. We need the forward uh, building here so we can uh, get closer to to the forehead and I think I'm gonna grab thieves probably doesn't really matter maybe brigands it's cheaper I'm not gonna be using either anyway so let's save 10 gold um, here yeah, we just uh, used extravagance on this province. Okay, so I think we can end the turn. Are we entering the right location? We are. And uh, we can build a provincial building. Um, yep, we don't have a pub here. So let's build that. And now we can end the turn. Oh, only two gargoyles, really? Okay. But at least they are T2 units, so at least some experience. Um, hmm. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Uh, you can probably stay here. Oh, this guy. I think I want him here. You have 28 hit points. Maybe this is better. Um, hmm. Okay, this should be fine. And we'll probably have to wait until they uh, run out of stamina let's see so could be a good training for our healers okay oh we can do actually quite a lot of damage so let's attack heal and uh, you can heal as well Oh, 
Oh, that was a bit more uh, damage than I expected. So you know what? Let's heal again, and we can get the kill. Good. Now I'll probably just wait until these all heals with this guy. And can we finish this? We can get four attacks on this turn. That has to be enough. Okay, you're gonna start. And this is the kill. Good. And do we get lucky and get another healer's medal? Would be nice. Um, Berserk here, two hit points is decent, one hit point, but no medal. Uh, would be nice to get one more medal. I don't care which uh, of these two gets it, but uh, we'll be most of the time using the positioning that I used uh, in this fight. So it's uh, good to have a strong healer on this style and this style. The one that it's in the back doesn't have to be that strong. You can afford to have a weaker healer there because he has only one barbarian in front of him. But uh, these two have to be pretty strong. They have many units around them that uh, they have to take care of. So... Until we get one more medal for one of these guy, guys, it won't be like uh, uh, that strong, this, uh, this position. But once you have uh, these two healers uh, uh, medaled up, this, uh, uh, this positioning or this setup is amazing. It's uh, really, really strong. So let's hope uh, we can get to it um, ideally in this part. And yeah, what uh, do we have in this fight? Or what do you get as a reward? Uh, uh, Phantom form. Uh, maybe I'll keep Phantom form. Maybe we have some extra experience and level 3 scouting. Good. At least uh, we can explore fast now. We are not getting more locations, but at least uh, we can explore like almost 10% every turn. That should speed things up a lot, and um, might be worth even build um, a Pathfinder's Guild. That would uh, get us over 10% per turn, and that's really a lot. Hmm. Okay, attack bandits, keep exploring. And for now, we are done with provincial buildings. I think I'll wait with the Pathfinder's Guild. And um, get their tier 2 units first. I think we are exploring fast enough. Okay, so what do we need um, now? Um, armory, I would say. So let's build that, and uh, yeah, now we have to save up. It's um, almost seven. Uh, I mean, six hundred and fifty gold. It may take a few fights. Okay, let's uh, let's do it. Let's oh. Hello. Oh, this is a bit more than I expected. This is a lot more than I expected, to be honest. Um, hmm. Now the question is, can we do this in the desert? Like, if this was uh, any other terrain, I would retreat from this. But in the desert, damn, we can do it. I I know it. This is doable. They'll run out of stamina so fast. Um, so what do we have to do? Um, mm -hmm. Make sure that the ballistae won't absolutely devastate us. Uh, swap these two guys. We, oh, we have two assassins against us, and one is pretty close, so we'll have to web this one, I think. 
Damn, this will be hard. This will be really hard. I may even have to do this because to the Nori there won't be too much damage, probably. Something like this. Yeah, most of the fighting will be here. So we have to focus uh, the best units we have in this area. Okay. This will be fun. Uh, two, four, five. can attack already, you can attack as well, but it's okay. We can handle this. Oh, one shot? Nice. Heal. Come on, this is annoying. Can you maybe get a kill like this? We can't. Hmm. Okay, this uh, may take a while because um, here we are in danger of uh, losing a unit. Um, hmm. I have to move forward, heal this guy. So I have to heal this one. Four, five. Wow, this is bad. I'll have to web something, but the question is what? I may have to move this guy forward. And uh, web this assassin. They hope that like this, I'll force them to s to split their attacks. Maybe this guy can move forward. Let's see. Okay, that's bad. Mm, this is bad as well. Uh, we will lose a unit. I think this ballista, yeah, is gonna get the kill. Okay, at least the healer just ran back, and I think I'll actually be fine now. Let's see. We can start... We can heal up. Okay, this assassin uh, doesn't have any stamina left, so that's fine. Here we need a kill. And fatigue for the tug. That's probably all we need. It sucks that we lost the barbarian, but um, that was way too much damage at one point. But I think I want to heal the healer. Ok, 
Okay, we should be able to heal this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, that was close. Okay, <laughs> all the healing we can get for that guy. Um, hmm. You can attack the tug. Uh, maybe it wasn't the smartest attack ever because both the ballista can reach him. Ooh. Uh, it's level 1 guy. If you lose him, well, then I think it's still fine. Just don't want to lose barbarians uh, with medals. I mean, it still sucks that we are losing units, but I think this fight. Uh, Well, I wanted to say it's worth it. Now, let's see. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is a problem. He's going down. Damn it! And we need the hero to join the fight as well. We need some extra damage. Uh, this should be okay. You now have to run back, get the heal. Um, and um, everyone who has some stamina left has to move forward now. Hmm. Okay, keep healing. I think I'll just wait. We have enough heals available. Okay, you move away. This healer just regained some morale, so we can use him. Let's at least try to get um, medals for our for our healers from this. Um, try to salvage something. You know, when you lose the units, uh, let's try to at least to get medals. Okay, you can move forward. I don't know about this fight, if, it's, if it was a good idea or wasn't. Like, we lost barbarians uh, that... Uh, had no unit, uh, I had no medals. So it's not the end of the world. One was, uh, the weaker one was only level one. So that's okay, didn't lose that much there. The other one was level four, I think. That's, that kind of sucks. But I, well, I think it was where it did actually. Yeah, this guy didn't have. Anything important, level 4 is not that much. This is nothing. If we get, if we get um, medals for healers, I think it was worth it. 
like the biggest problem uh, here is that we have to go back to the capital and uh, grab new barbarians that will uh, delay us by like three turns. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's two medals already for barbarians. Uh, don't want this one. Extra healing and the medal. Uh, hit points. Yeah, this was worth it. And we got mass haste that we can sell. 241 gold. Um, and keep exploring. Uh, and keep exploring. Hmm. Usually I don't say this, and I am uh, really unhappy when I lose uh, units in a fight, but in this case, I think it was where it did. Of course, it wasn't the perfect fight, but sometimes... Sometimes it is acceptable. Of course, if we lost units uh, with medals, um, it would be a completely different story. I think we can live with this. And uh, maybe we could explore and get a level up before we go back to the capital. In case we get magic, and we should get one more magic before we hit level 10. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Says, okay, here is the level. Oh no, we get one more command. I still do get magic. Hmm. I'll have to decide if I want to take a, uh, extra unit or not. Which cause problems with positioning. Well, at least it's easy when it comes to abilities. The extra defense is uh, quite important. Here we have found some adventurers and since we don't have any units there's no point in talking to them they won't give us anything so I'll just keep exploring by the way what's the oasis southerners we can do that I think but first uh, let's head back to the capital and um, grab new units we could um, take a forward healer for it is I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, how does it look like with our income? We can't afford it. And we will need four healers for the like the final version of the army. So may as well start leveling him now. Keep exploring. How does it look like? 75. It's not going as fast as I expected. Bandits, goblins, probably don't want to uh, fight goblins. Adventurers, we can do barbarians. Look at all those uh, trolls that we have around. Later, those will be really good targets. Gargoyles, good. And there are some, some targets. Okay. Let's grab those units and um, fight some more. I think I will actually sell both these scrolls. I was thinking about keeping the phantom form, but I think I'd rather have the gold. I'm not using phantom uh, form usually, so... Yeah, it's probably better to get the money right now. Repair the gear. And uh, how much do we need for assassins? Um, I barely have enough for it to afford it. I 
Maybe I should have checked this uh, before I head back to the capital. Now, when I'm thinking about it, um, with the amount of money we we have, I should have moved north, cleared uh, like two locations here, and then head back. Uh, and try to leave the capital with tier 2 units already, at least with that assassin. Or maybe we can now stay here until we have access to both assassins and tugs and uh, uh, also enough gold to actually recruit them because they will be expensive as well especially recruiting tax without iron is uh, pretty costly yeah, let's head back get like 1500 plus maybe 2000 and um, then we just uh, rebuild the army get all the tier 2 uh, tier 2 mm, come on tier 2 units Good locations, it seems. Those are usually doable early. And here, just put out a fire. And double check. No, we didn't lose anything. Good. What does it look like with our income? Minus three. Uh, that's fine. Considering the size of our army and the amount of medals we are paying for, minus three is actually quite decent. Okay, so where do we start? Oh, Inquisitors, that's where we start. What does it look like here? Two more turns. Oh, uh, these are actually. Tier 2 execution, I mean Inquisitors. Okay, but again, because it's um, in the desert, I will do this. Yeah, I kind of expected that we uh, will face two Executioners. Okay, how can we do this? We want the hero closer to the front line. To, I just have to make sure if I get rid of one executioner uh, before he can cause too much trouble. One, two, one, two. Okay, so. We'll have to go there. I now have to make sure that um, I have uh, strong units here, those barbarians with metals, because I will have to do a lot of damage uh, uh, pretty fast to kill one of those executionaries. Um, we'll need um, some pretty strong heels around here. Okay, this is probably the best we can do. I just hope we have enough damage for this. We are fighting three tier 3 units so, and one tier 2. So it is pretty dangerous okay, we will take a hit from this executioner we can heal that damage then we web him yeah, this guy will, will do a lot of damage we just have to take it okay start That's fine. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the only thing I can do is just uh, wait, take the hit. Okay, you have to move closer. Ah, oh, damage is actually good, I'd say. I was afraid that uh, we won't be able to kill him fast enough. It seems it'll be fine. Okay, go. Oh, that's perfect. Nice, he's down. That's what we needed. So now we heal as much as possible, you can move closer and that means that the, this healer can move closer as well. And what, we, what do we have? Astral Energy and Fatigue. I think the first Fatigue goes for the Crossbowman. Now I hope the Executioner moves, does his uh, round attack here, that would cost him how much, like 7, 8 stamina. Then we heal that damage, wait for him to do the same on the next turn, and then we kill him because he, will, he won't have any stamina and um, we won't have to worry about counter attacks. Just hope does that. It seems that he does and we can heal this damage. Okay, good, good, good. I think we are fine. Uh, heal this guy, this one. I think I have to heal this one now. What does it look like with... Oh, perfect. They don't have ammo for this turn. This is ideal timing for us. Now you can move closer. You can even attack. Yeah, still fine. We are taking a lot of damage, but uh, with so much healing, we can handle it. One more round attack, he has exactly enough stamina for that. Actually, may have to move away now. What's the range? Two, four, six. No, they can reach him and I can't heal him. Uh, do we have astral energy? We do. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a stupid mistake. Of course, I wanted to use the astral energy on this healer. Oh, oh man. This counter attack 12, that's too much. I have to end the turn. 
I hope they won't won't focus their attacks here. Ah, it will be fine, even if they do. I was afraid the hit from the executioner will be stronger, and uh, yeah, they will heal most likely. But uh, still, it was a stupid mistake using the astral energy on this healer. Okay, he can move back now. Make sure that we use all his heals, and we heal as much as we can. You can move forward now, so we get some more damage to the front line. And he is almost dead. Good. This was a decent fight. I suppose I still made a mistake. Uh, it's like it's a bit annoying now that I'm making so many mistakes. I don't know what's going on. Usually, I don't have problems with. Um, these things. Maybe I shouldn't talk that much, just focus more on what I'm doing. Okay, this should be fine. We can heal that. This is why I like um, Commander so much. The extra resistance you get uh, and the extra defense. Even the high tier units um, can't do that much. Uh, to whatever uh, you, you are using in your army and especially with barbarians it really, it's really nice because the lack of defense that's uh, always their problem and uh, the commander just gives them what they need okay how does it look like now can we heal some more Can move forward. I just hope to for no, he's not um, in the range of the crossbowman because I want to send this barbarian back and uh, use the last heal. I still want to get more medals. And now we can finish the fight. Okay, this was. Uh, a really, really good fight for us. A uh, lot of experience. This this will be huge. Uh, three tier three units, and look at their level. I didn't expect that uh, there will be such a high level. Wow. This was pretty damn good. Um, let's see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love this level. Definitely gonna take it. Well, this one kind of sucks. Stamina, I'd say. Berserk for you. Uh, don't want this medal. Meditation for another healer. Definitely won't take that. Uh, more resistance. Meditation for level 1 healer. I definitely want to take it. Berserk. Berserk. And that's all. Well, we didn't get any medals. That's quite disappointing. But um, some some good level ups. Meditation twice and uh, uh, one plus three attack for barbarian. I think it's still fine. Uh, and together with that, we have uh, yeah, almost 400 gold, some gems, ranger cloak. For now, I'll probably keep it on the commander. But if we get lucky and uh, get the full set, I'll of course move it to the exploration bot. Yeah, this was really damn good. And I just noticed that uh, we explored only 5% of the province. I'd expect more on the on uh, level 3 scouting. Oh, weird. Well, it's been a while since I was exploring a desert. So maybe there is a penalty for a desert. Same as is for example in swamp. You are exploring swamps significantly slower than let's say plains. So maybe... Um, I just forgot that the series have a uh, penalty as well. But I really thought they don't have that um, it's the same for, uh, for deserts as like Land of the Dead, because those uh, 
uh, Land of the Dead provinces and um, how is the other one? Demon lands are pretty easy to explore, so I thought the deserts will be the same. Hmm, okay. Well, we are almost done anyway. Uh, so keep going. Two more terrains. And what's gonna be the next? Um, I'm thinking barbarians. What does it look like with our army? Uh, we are fine. We can attack something harder again. Maybe bandits again. Gargoyles. Let's do barbarians. And before we end this part, we can build a fort. So let's do that. And we have enough for the Assassin's Guild. Uh, fighter barracks are not that expensive because we at least have the red wood. So how much do we need? Uh, we still need like like 900 gold for all of this, probably more. But we are getting there. Like two more fights, like this one, and we are uh, we are there. I didn't expect that it's um, gonna be this fast. And one more turn for extravagance. Okay, I have to I have to remember that um, I'm gonna use it uh, early in the next part. I don't want to forget about it uh, because. Um, the, the unrest in this province is rising fast. Mm. Okay, so this is um, all for this part. I hope you liked it. Uh, we uh, had some tough fights in this part, so I hope you enjoyed them. And even though we started with uh, some losses, we lost two barbarians, I think it was worth it. And um, uh, in the second fight, uh, kind of made up for that, uh, because um, that was a good one. I really liked that one. Uh, killing three tier 3 units with uh, this army, that's decent. Uh, that fight I, I really, really liked. Uh, so, I hope you liked it as well, and um, uh, I hope um, you join me for the next part again. Until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.